everybody, we're off to the house again today. We've got some stuff to take for the workers. So we're going back to the house, back to the city today. All right, gonna leave the province for another day and get some stuff done. I'm going to share with you what it's like to be a foreigner driving in the Philippines. You might be surprised, hopefully not too surprised. So I'm just waiting for Jane, I'm sat in the car, just going to show you the drive from here to the house. I'll show you the sort of roads and road conditions and traffic and other vehicles you might encounter while in the Philippines driving. Adam and Jane, lifestyle. Oh, okay. How much, Mom? How much? One thousand. Oh, five. One thousand. Five hundred. Thank you. Are you British? Yeah, I am. Yes. You're British. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Last thing is so <laughs> <laughs> I think the guy, they're having fun, like practicing their English, and it's funny because um, it seems like they love talking to Adam. <laughs> so this is how you buy fuel in the Philippines instead of pumping it yourself they have attendants that they used to a long time ago thank okay. you Salamat. love it <laughs> sir okay sir thank okay. you okay safe trip thank you <laughs> okay okay 
Thank you, Stan, man. Thank you. So we're here now in the Sabin Resort. We've come away for the weekend. Decided to have a little bit of a break from what we've been doing with the house. Come to the resort, Sabin Resort, by the seafront in Ormoc City. So we're last here in 2018. Now we're keen to see if it's changed. Has it improved? Has it got worse? So here's the view from the front. Ah, it's the car park. So Jane emerges from the bathroom. She's emerging. Here she is. And what's her first impressions of the Sabin Resort? Sorry? What's Jane's first impressions of the Sabin Resort? Mm, they don't have a good customer service. Oh. What's that mosquito? They don't have a good customer service and they were waiting for like an hour. So the chicken is too black. We arrived to Clapton. Says the room is not ready. And we, we were waiting there and we were hungry and thirsty and there's no just even water offer for water. Tarzan. She's wearing a Tarzan costume. <laughs> New Tarzan and Jane. Oh there's the bum. The book. Here's the book. So we've had quite a busy day again, as you can tell, a lot to do with the house, lots of stuff to buy, to try to get things to fit. And we're gonna enjoy our evening here now at the Sabin Resort. So it's exciting times, it's busy and it's stressful, but it's very exciting too. Moving to another country is never easy, and we want to show you our journey to make it a bit easier for when you come to do it. A lot of great comments and feedback from you all. So many people we've heard from plan to move to the Philippines and like I said before if we can do it really you can do it we never thought it possible it took us a year of planning but we decided we can make it happen look at us now Jane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the most proud. Who's gonna fall in the water? No. <laughs> 